here at the On3 Elite Series event here in Nashville with four-star wide receiver Travis Smith. Travis, you got a big official visit coming up to Tennessee in the month of June. Uh, what are you looking forward to about it? Everything, really, as far as football, you know, talking football, but mainly things off the field, you know, just seeing how campus life is, just seeing the teammates, just seeing how we gel together. That's really what I'm looking for. What, what is it about Tennessee that has them in the mix? I know Tennessee, Georgia, a couple of the top two teams for you. What What's put Tennessee right up there? You know, every time I go up there, whether it's for a game or if I'm just at an unofficial visit, just hanging out with the staff, you know, it always seems like there's this, this – I don't know how to say it, like family culture around it. You know, they always making me and my family just, you know, comfortable. And I see it through their eyes. You know, they, they know that, you know, it's a great place. And um, I just love the culture there. They're, they're very loving. What about Coach Kelsey Pope? What have you enjoyed about him? On well, Coach Pope, oh, yeah. I feel like he can develop me at top top receiver or wherever I want to be at. So, um, Coach Pope, you know, I know he's going to coach me hard. You know, he has a lot in store for me if I were to go there. How big of a draw is the Tennessee offense for a receiver? It's huge. Getting the ball, that's a, every receiver's dream is getting the ball. Like, no doubt about it. So, just their ways of distributing the ball is unlike any other. They find ways to get guys in open grass, allowing us to make plays, you know. Uh, George McIntyre, I, I know one of the big things when Tennessee was recruiting him was he knew even if there was a change at OC, the, you know, it's Josh Heupel's offense. You know, it, nothing's going to change there. Right. Is, is there a value in that from a receiver standpoint, knowing, you know, no matter what happens with assistant coaches, position coach, or uh, position coaches, offensive coordinators, the head coach, it's his offense. And they're going to keep running it no matter what. It just, it just lets you know you have sustainability. Coach Heupel, knowing that it's his offense is great. You know, he's a great offensive of mind. And he's always, the good thing about Tennessee, they always going to have a quarterback, no matter what. In the end day, in out, they always going to have a quarterback. Yeah, everybody wants to play as a freshman. You know, and I know you would come in with George, but if you're playing as a freshman, you're catching the ball from Nico. So, like, how much does that help Tennessee's case when you know, okay, there's, there's a legit guy and then another legit guy following him and George and Jake Merkley? Oh, my God. It, just all the way up there, that, from them being up here to all the way up there, just their quarterback. Like I said, the quarterbacks, they they're always producing. Um, Nico, like like I've seen him in practice, it would be a dream come true if I would have catch pass from. And then George, just now talking from him, you know, now, I already seen this tape. You know, he's a great quarterback and all, but just seeing the person he is, that's even better. How much do you look forward to hanging out with him a little bit? Just kind of getting to know him, not only here, but then again in, in June. And here in June, right now, this helps Tennessee's case, but, you know, uh, in June, that would be great. You know, just trying to pick his mind a little bit, seeing, even seeing why he chose uh, Tennessee and just seeing why, you know, his decision was valid and seeing why, you know, he thought Tennessee was a great fit for him. George has always been important to Tennessee. You look at some of the players that have come out of there, Jamal Lewis, Eric Berry, um, you know, just a plethora of guys have come out of the Peach State and had success. Uh, Josh Dobbs, um, you know, is leaving the state doable? You know what I mean? Like, because I mean, I know there's pressure there. They live right there in Atlanta. I mean, that's mm -hmm. you're hearing from all these Georgia fans. Georgia coaches are right around the corner. Yeah. I mean, how, how much pressure do you feel? Um, it's never really pressure with me, but you know, it's always somebody talking. You know, um, of course, I have Georgia people all around me. You know, I also have Tennessee people around me as well. But Georgia is always going to outweigh. The amount of hearsay I hear because I'm in more. the state of Georgia, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's not really pressure with me, but, you know, I do like the fact that, you know, I have people that support me no matter where I go. What's the one thing you need to see from Tennessee next month in June? Um, it's, not, it's not much. I've seen, I've seen a lot of what I need to see. That's why they're so high up on my board, but I'm just trying to find the, the the factors that can differentiate like the people from Georgia, Tennessee, Auburn, and Bama. So we'll see. We'll see. Now it's a quartet of SEC schools recruiting this guy right here. He's tall. He's long. He's a playmaker. He can go up and high point the bat football, and he can run right by you. He's Travis Smith, one of the top playmakers in the 2025 class.